Bismillah rahman rahim Today we will be talking about obstacles on the path in the context of this positive thinking course, lecture number six. I'll also be talking about the Pilgrim's Progress. It was written by John Bunyan, who was born in 1628 and died in 1688. It is the story of a pilgrim. This ko hum Urdu mein keh sakte hain ki muhajir Allah ki taraf hijrat karne wala. So Pilgrim's Progress would stand for a person who is moving towards God. So it is basically the story of a journey from destruction town. Destruction town se murad jo hai wo Darul Fana hai, yani is dunia ko destruction town ka gaya. To celestial city, celestial city Darul Akhira, ya Darul Jaza. And he is moving on the salvation motorway. And by salvation motorway is meant sirat e mustaqim or the right path. On both sides of the motorway are friendly and enemy forces because there is a constant battle going on between the divine and the devilish forces. And one has to two sides. There are temptations and distractions on the way. We will be talking about those once we come to the next slide. At the end of the journey, there is the final ambush by the devil. Till the last moment, the devil tries to snatch a believer and make him join his ranks. And divine grace is also there to extend full support to the pilgrim. Now the book starts with this sentence. I saw a man clothed, clothed with rags, in his hand a book and a great burden on his back. It's an allegorical story. And by great burden on his back means, you see, the burden of sins that he's carrying. And when we talk about a man clothed with rags, this means that he is spiritually, um, spiritually poor. And there is a book in his hand that is his trying to gain um, inspiration from the divine book. He is trying to walk on the path of God. Now here is a diagrammatic layout of what happens to a pilgrim when he starts moving on the salvation motorway towards the celestial city. He has decided to free himself from the temptations and vices of the world, which is the destruction city, and the path is towards the salvation motorway. And Saturn declared to God Almighty that he would lie on the path and he would tempt people and he would attack them from right and left, from front and back, and that he would be able to capture most of the people. So God said, all right, go ahead. So this is a fight going on, a battle going on, a war going on between good and evil. So one has to choose sides and one has to remain consistent. So consi the journey starts with sincere repentance. So first of all, you repent and you repent and come out of the city of doubt. That is, if you are always assailed by doubts, thinking yes and no, you come out of that. And you move um, by committing yourself to the path of God. Then there is the vanity fair. This uh, world is full of so many distractions. There are so many things which may attract you, which may tempt you. So you have to leave those and you have to move towards the city of knowledge. Then there is the enchanted city. So enchanted city because the temptations are so great that one can easily get distracted. <clears throat> there is the pomp and show of worldly comforts and everything else is there to seduce you, to tempt you. So <clears throat> you can come to this by remembrance. Then if somehow the, the other, the devil is able to overpower you because of certain sins that you have committed, and because of the fact that you have distanced yourself from God Almighty, then he may capture you and put you in the dungeon. So here, uh, first of all, you should avoid getting captured because there is an armory which God has given you, and that armory is in the form of a spiritual shield. There is uh, the spiritual sword, and there is the spiritual armor. But in case you forgot to use these, then there are chances that you will be captured by the devil. But then again, you can secure your release by fervently pray, praying to Almighty and seeking his help. Then he will carve out a way for you. But then again, the devil has not yet um, washed his hands off you. He is still on the lookout to somehow the other capture you once again. 
and to mislead you and to thwart your desire of reaching the celestial city. So then divine grace intervenes and again you are saved and rescued, provided you remain in touch with God and try to remain steadfast. So this is uh, just a synopsis of that. Let us move on to the next slide. The right path. So avail the gifts, the spiritual armor, the sword and shield. This can be in the form of the life that you carry out, the remembrance that you carry out, the verses that you read from the Holy Quran. Sword is also there. The shield is also there. So you must first of all fortify your defenses, strengthen the protective shield around you then don't lose focus because if you lose focus then you will be liable to be tempted and you will lose uh, the path and you will get distracted. But if you have been captured as I mentioned earlier then seek God's help repent sincerely. And then one thing which is most important is that here in the Holy Quran it is given verily the devil is your open and declared enemy. And should I tell you on whom the devils descend? This descend on all liars and men of evil character. So if a person starts lying and if a person um, adopts an evil character, then he becomes an easy target for the devil. So if your character is strong, then there are minimum chances that the devil will be able to overpower you. So build up your character. That is what I've been laying emphasis upon. Any weakness of character would be a kind of a signal for the devil to attack you because he's always on the lookout. He has thrown the challenge to God that he would capture most of the people who are fickle-minded. So he is doing his um, job as uh, a threat, as an enemy. So one has to be very careful. And one must remember that one the common um, error that we indulge in is that most of us have not been able to tame our anger. We get very angry, we get very furious at small losses. And that is the time when the devil can overpower us. And then remember, as the journey advances, the challenges become more difficult. So the final advice is do not despair, adopt humility. Sometimes he will make you feel proud of your achievements. Well, there is no reason to feel proud of your achievements. The opportunity was provided by God. It was through God's grace you did something good. And avoid weakness of character because weakness of character is something where you become vulnerable to the attacks of the devil. So in the end, I would say one should constantly seek help from Allah. Nasrum min Allah wa fatun kareeb that is help from Allah and a near victory is that. And may God help us to walk on this path steadfastly. Thank you very much. God bless you all.